Hey guys, this is a video on how to install your oil catch can from Burger Motorsports. This is what you will get in the box when it comes in. The oil catch can itself, that unscrews right over here. Quality made, with the filter right over here. We have the in and out right here. Also comes included with the bracket and all necessary screws. With also the hose in here as well. For all of those that are not installing a cold air intake or don't have one at the moment, you will need to buy this hose from Burger Motorsports as well. This is will go on to the intake where the res resonator will be coming off of, which I will show you once we get to the engine bay. You'll see. Also coming with this clamp once you order this. If you do have a cold air intake or planning to get one, you might as well just buy it with the oil catch can together to save yourself the 60 bucks of purchasing this where you can save $19 if you do purchase it with the oil catch can. The tools that you will need for this job are a 18 millimeter socket, four and five millimeter hex sockets, the T25 and T30 torque sockets, including a 10 millimeter wrench with a flathead screwdriver. Now here at the engine bay, first off, we'll remove the engine cover, which is just some grommets on each side, front and back. That way you have easy air access to your PCV hose. Here at the engine bay, I will start off by using a 10 millimeter to kind of move this to the side. Loosening this end here with the 18 millimeter. Now I can move that to the side. That way I have easier access to where we'll be working at. This is that intake resonator that I was talking about. And when you'll be getting the aftermarket intake, this all will be coming out either way. So the intake hose goes right over here which is what we'll be replacing today. I'm starting off by removing this T20 screw right over here, holding the resonator. Next up, I'll be, I'll be loosening these with the flathead. Kind of loosening taking these out of the grommets as I'm working, kind of make it a little easier so to work with. So here I've taken off the stock air box, which if you want to zoom into there, or get in there, you can see it frees up space to get into that lower gasket right down there. I don't know if you can catch that on camera, right down there, free up some space for me to get in there with the screwdriver to loosen it up. This whole thing is coming out of here. After some hard work and dedication and lots of patience, I finally got the resonator out. As you can see in here, you can see lots of lots of oil in there. Also in here, if you take a look, very easy to see, just caked with oil up inside of there. That's what that oil catch can will be preventing. Now a little trick or a little word of advice. I had a 10 millimeter socket to get to the bottom. Hold it right here, it's much easier. Sorry, not a 10 millimeter. I had a six millimeter socket to get to the bottom one and I loosened it completely to kind of loosen this up so I can kind of squeeze it this way, this way, because it'll be sealed shut. Especially the bottom one, if you have oil, it'll be sealed shut and it's gonna be extremely hard to get. So if you can loosen this one up as much as possible, that way you can kind of squeeze it and just kind of pull it out of there with 
little play. But now that we have that, we'll clean it up and install our new gasket from Burger Motorsports. Now we have the new hose with the clamps. We'll kind of put them on right away to help myself in the future. So we've got the hose on with the together with the clamps tightened. I put in the air box in before I tightened it just to kind of adjust it, fit it to make sure this hose, this, it won't fit perfectly. You can see kind of tell by the pic picture here. It doesn't really fit perfectly, but at least it doesn't cut off the air. Tighten the bottom one, tighten this one, sensor, boom. Next step would be installing the bracket for the oil catch can. But first we'll assemble the bracket itself, which doesn't take much at all. What you'll be doing is taking these out, out of the tread. Loose this up for our next step. But don't lose it. And get this one in. And grab your T30 and the five millimeter hex with you. So our goal is to take this T30 screw out, replacing it with our BMS one. The upper hole right over here will the upper one will go right in here with the nut going on the wheel well side. You need to remove this whole grommet right over here, which the second screw is right over here. Also including a T30 to get the bracket in without this in the way. So now that that's out, I had to bend the heat shield back a little bit, so I bent it back now. Get into the first hole. Getting this one in. So I actually used the factory T30 versus the one that they gave me. For some reason, this one did not want to tread in, and I didn't want, did not feel like cross-treading the treads. So, just a note there as well. Now we'll be getting in the, the top one right here. For this, we'll need a second person to be holding the 10 millimeter from the outside. So that bolt right over there is the one that we are going to be putting the nut on right over there. That's in the wheel well in the passenger side. Now we'll be installing the hatch can itself. Loosening these first. Pass it on the six side. I just let it hang for now. There is two options, first and second. So I just let it hang for now. We can remove the PCV hose by clamping this way and pulling up. So you're gonna to wanna to get this facing forward. It's gonna have a slight tilt. Kind of loosely put them in first. Just to let it hang. This, it'll give me a little bit more playroom with this hose right here. It'll just go in. And click just like that. Now we can get the hose included. Get inside of here. Top. Just like that, it's in. I'm just gonna tighten the top. Final steps, tighten this back on. Now 
And the last and final step, getting the engine cover back on. Just kind of struggling to get in right here where the hose is. But I got it in. Not really. So you will get little not flush fitments here. You see it's a little tilted because of the hose. It's not letting it snap onto the grommet completely. So the fitment will be kind of all right, but at least we are now protected with the oil catch can. So I made a little tweak. I ended up cutting a little bit bigger of an opening. That way the engine cover is able to slide down a little easier and in the process cracking the engine cover. So be careful, do this at your own risk. But now it's on, the grommet is on, solid. Time to clean up. 